Good stuff. Yo, this is my first PlayStation 1 game that used the analog stick, and this used to confuse me heavily as a kid. Oh my god. Throwback. I had to try to fool my parents into thinking this was Donkey Kong or some shit. <laughs> Just to buy it. Whoa. How many of y'all played this game? Jake, I remember as a kid, I gave them Dragon Ball themes and socios. Like, even Spectre had like a bobbity thing to him. Jake was like the Vegeta. Spike was like the Goku. I love old school Japanese stuff. It always has like the the dynamic between the Goku and Vegeta dynamic between all of them. It just what made these games so perfect. I don't know any of these characters. And I was like, bro, I, I, I was glued to them. Look at them. Look at them! Damn, this is clean! On the PS5 in 2022, this is a clean. Holy shit. Main protagonist. And this music! Oh my god! 1999! Yo, 20X, let's go! You have not played this game. Thank you for the subscription, bro. This is one of the first games that I think ever supported the DualShock uh, analog sticks for the PS1. And th this one right here, this is one of the greatest games of all time for me. This is a big part of my childhood. I think it's like, us be attractive. I wanted attention to chase the field. <laughs> Yo, let's talk all night. If you guys in the stream right now, I appreciate y'all, man. Oh my god, this music. This game has one of the most underrated soundtracks I've ever heard in gaming. It's everything's a bop. Hey, it's for like SoundCloud Did rappers. Is this time station yet? Are we gonna get to go back in time? He said he'd be finished with it today. Let's go. I can't wait to check out the dinosaurs. And what about the future? Yeah, well, why is he running like a Carlton? First. That's not fair. Bruh, they had like a Goku and Vegeta dynamic. I'm telling you, I think I was the only kid that used to do this shit in my head. Hey, Professor! Spike, but they nerfed Jake, their looks here, later watch on. Out. Spike, the time station! <laughs> no, no, run you two! Spike in PlayStation All Stars looks nerf. As a kid, I had no idea what was going on in this cutscene. This is the equivalent of Cell killing Trunks and taking the time machine. Oh, Jack and I, thank you. Damn, on the PS5, this is clean. Look at him, he looks like he's powered up like a Saiyan. And that's his first form. Watch, remember that face? That's the bad guy Spectre. And he comes back with like a Super Saiyan, Saiyan looking helmet. It, it looks insane. He literally looked like he transformed with Super Saiyan. It works. It actually works. We did it, Natalie. We did it. The time station is complete. This music. We don't have time for celebrating. We've got to do something. Yo, he ain't even really tied up. All right. They <laughs> let the monkeys fuck the whole shit up. Thank God, this North American version. I prefer the North American version. I don't know why people was talking shit about the North American version. I like these voices. Spike, can you hear me? You must listen carefully. Something awful has happened. Is this the next There's time? been an accident. The time station has been activated by Spectre, and you're being transported back in time. You'll soon arrive in the lost land when dinosaurs roam the earth. The dinosaurs Spectre has sent the shit apes back me. in I'm time to try to change the course of history. His plans for world domination have begun. And if we don't stop the apes, history will be changed forever. You're our only chance. Saiyan monkeys. Two of my gadget inventions, the Stun Club and the Time Net, were also caught in the transport. I want you to use them to catch the apes and send them back here. The Stun, the stun Club, Club can be used to defend yourself against oh, attackers. Yeah, basically the Stun Club and the Net are set with us. The best two things you could possibly get. We have to capture these monkeys, stop them before they start wrecking time. It's literally... <laughs> Future Trunks is Time Patrol. And right here, so as a kid, I was like four years old when I got this game. You can see the spaceship crash landing in the back. I got three monkeys. You got to capture this area. It's arcade. Right here, I sat on this screen right here for about four to five hours trying to figure out how to move. I was pushing the D-pad like this. So like, as a kid, I was like, I can't, I can't move. I can't move. What's going on? We can't move this. We can do all these other buttons and stuff. We can jump in place. Uh, you can press start. Shit. Push the wrong start. Push start. Oh, you gotta use a touchpad of this. 
and see the gadgets and select. And I was like, yo, is the game broken? Is this broken? No, mom, I can't return this shit. We bought it from like a local shop and stuff like that. But you cannot move with the D-pad. And as a kid, this was being like the first game that actually uses the analog stick. We sat here for five hours. I had to hand it off to my neighbor that lived downstairs for him to figure this shit out. And I was so jealous because they got to play a brand new game that my parents just bought me, especially when we broke and uh, they buy that from with their own like slave labor money. They were like, yo, you just lend it to the neighbor's kid. And this kid figured it out. 100% in it. Everybody likes dinosaurs. What a good, what's the Dragon Master? Place the also is battery real. Yo, they have Spike in it, but he don't look like this badass. He looks like a merp. Oh my god, this music. So basically, you just go around, you slash them with the stun club, aka what I would call a sword around the kid. You look to catch it, and you just basically slap these monkeys around like Saiyans. You're gonna basically like freeze it to, the, freeze it to them. But. You get more gadgets and stuff as you go along. It's like the, the basic force level. They landed in the prehistoric era right now. Why is he walking all funny? Oh, shit, the D-pad. Oh, they fight back. And to collect the thought, he's collecting monkeys. Holy shit, this life you feel like Frieza. Yes! Damn, the Saiyans have been unleashed, and now we have to go and pull a Frieza, capture them all back, send them back. So every time you put them through the net, you send them back to the regular time. It's crazy how these concepts came along. 1999, this is after Dragon Ball, so that's why I always started making these uh, comparisons. Around 1999 is when I discovered Dragon Ball anyway. I was flipping through trying to find the Teletubbies. You see Krillin and Trunks fighting perfect cell. So like, holy shit, this show have a little bit of drool falling out of your mouth. What? Cast the scenes. Then you go over to this warp room and you got like this chibi Japanese looking anime token. Those tokens up there also look like frogs to me when I was a kid. I don't know why. There's some kind of meat meat merp merp thing. I'm gonna go save it real quick. This whole place just looks so futuristic for a PlayStation 1 game, especially coming off of Spyro and Crash Bandicoot. Yo, the music, it just pulls you into something else. I feel like somebody could sample this shit for a beat and that shit would be popping for 2022. Game. Yeah, I'm not quitting. 1.8% done already. Yeah, I'm probably gonna play through this whole thing tonight. I got no, I got no sleep in me. <laughs> So over here, if I'm, that's like the arcade, and over here was like a tutorial for this stuff. I'll just go through the main game for now. I'll do all the smaller stuff later on. But yo, listen to some old kid rock. Anyway, yo, Bulls, well, if you're still in the chat, what was like your playlist, or what got you through the drive? Any tips for like long drives? That I feel like as long as you have a good music playlist, you're good. For Look long what drives. I've got a new gadget. Check it out! There's gonna be like a 10 hour plus thing. This is the water net. Use it when you're underwater. I equipped it with an oxygen meter. I'm sending the new gadget over to you right now. Yeah, try it out. Works. They send it through the time period and we get a new gadget. So you gotta go through this stuff. I'm going for it! It's basically giving them new powers. Oh man, this game. Ape Escape used to be such a good franchise, but they let it die. Now it's become like a meme of itself of, yo, Rayman, Ape Escape, all the other non-super, super popular uh, titles. I mean, this was technically popular in its own right, but it's not like Crash Bandicoot Spiral level of popular. Still so good. It looks clean on the PS5. Wow. I can't believe I'm playing a PS1 game that looks this good. There's you. Here's the exit. Yeah, yeah. Damn, they OD'd on him in that picture with that nose. Can't wait. Hey, yo! Hey, yo! Next area, we're gonna capture four monkeys. Let's go. It looks like the Topo Pets from Crash Bandicoot. Yeah, a lot of the um, PS1 elements, they all transferred over. The 90s, I felt like most 90s culture transferred over from video Let's game to go. video game and TV show to TV show. I'm gonna sound like an old man saying that the 90s was the best generation, but it was. It's probably all them old heads feeling like the 80s are the best or the 70s are the best. Nah, 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 I think once you look back on everything, I think the 90s was still the best ever. We had Dragon Ball. We had Dragon Ball's peak. You can't beat that. You can't beat Dragon Ball's yeah. peak. Sorry, yeah. fuck out of here. Yeah. Gotcha. 
Listen to that music. It's like Final Fantasy type of vibe. That's why I was so hyped when I played Final Fantasy 7 because I was like, bro. Oh shit. No, it's not. Yeah. Bullet, bullet. When I played Final Fantasy 7, it gave yeah. me that, that 90s remix of the music back up in here. 90s music, even of, like Pokemon games, like going back to that shit. Bro. The best. This one's just sleeping here. I'm gonna mess up this day. Why am I walking? Stop pushing the character fucking jump that I go. I low-key want to clap that blob, blob of pixels. In this water, I think I was scared out of my life because there's a Lapras or something here. There it is. Look at that shit. Is that not nightmare fuel? Okay, as a grown adult, it looks like it's crying or some shit, but I was scared out of my mind. Let me come down and get this coin. Come down and get this coin. Bruh. I was scared of all that shit. Nightmare fuel. Oh my god, look at that from up here. I feel like that shit was gonna eat me. Look at the teeth. But it's something worse. Get this one to finish the I'm gonna see how fast I beat this game tonight. Yes. 90s, early 2000s are always gonna be the best time periods. Yeah, I agree with that because, bro, yo, if you ever wake up sad nowadays, think about it. Like, if you were. Hold on, let's see what she says. You did great. Let me get a pat on the back. Patch for Patrick. <laughs> like, if you ever wake up sad or depressed nowadays, if you grew up during the 90s, my shroom trips had taught me, bro, if you think about it from the perspective of like, let's say you're an overseer, like if you're like where he's at right now and you had a select screen of what time period you wanted to live in, if you had that ability, it would be the 90s. Like you would you would want to live your childhood through the 90s. So if you had that power to say, yo, I want to spawn it at this time, enjoy the culture at this time, that's the best way you can wake up like super gr grateful for everything that you have nowadays. Like even if this generation nowadays ain't getting this, at least you were born during that time period, but you did. Because I wouldn't want to be alive during any other time period, bro. We talking 1500s with like... Uh, Leonardo da Vinci and shit. Fuck that shit. The 90s with Dragon Ball Z was airing on tsunamis when I would want to be bored. This one's the lava area. This one also had nightmare fuel. So we got more dinosaurs in this. Bro, this music is just so happy to be... Whoever was the Japanese Kachagawa that made this stuff. Good hit, man. Good hit. Let's go! Bro, he was in the studio just cooking a fire fire. That shit must have burnt down. Oh, man. Get this. Ah, yo. If I could ever meet him, hot bowl of ramen on me. Oh, shit. This thing reminded me of the Goombas from Mario. A lot of uh, Mario 64 elements was all in these games at the time, too. Over here, we had a... Uh, a Triceratops. Back then when I was a girl, but this was like 1999, I was four years old. I used to be obsessed with Triceratopses and T-Rexes and them fighting each other. Mainly because even Power Rangers was using the same elements. You used to see them in all the books in school. And like them fighting each other and them using those spikes to like, like stab the T-Rex in the stomach and type of shit. That's facts. Dragon Ball Yu-Gi-Oh! every Saturday morning. Yu-Gi-Oh! came out in 2000. Best time but to be alive was when that show first aired and they started... Like, you see, as every year, like, every day you're going into school and the culture was moving through the show. Like, it was crazy. New Yu-Gi-Oh card showing up in school. It's moving along with the games in the show, how it's influencing the culture. I love it, man. This music just sounds like a drug thing. Like, eyes dilating when a kid has, like, a sugar rush type of music. Imagine the monkeys. We'd like the monkeys play this. Don't shoot me. Don't shoot me. Better pause right there. For you can't! Hey, yeah. yeah. This music is so happy. You are just a cracked out happy Gerber baby walking down the street to this music of the Sugar Rush. Got a Spectre coin. Yeah, you're gonna see what it looks like in a second. I'm telling you, it had some Dragon Ball vibes because he went from like looking like a little. He looked like a human in a white outfit, but the helmet, he goes back, looks like he ascended into Super Saiyan, and then he starts talking and shit. Oh, this fucking little shit. No! Hey, oh! Pterodactyl, I always ignore him because he's in the sky because he can't even look up free panic. But can he? He can. Oh my god. He's actually doing damage to me. He's fighting me over the eggs. This is also why I was scared. Of Damn. They look cracked. Hey yo, yeah. hop off my dust. Where you at? Yeah. Yeah. Damn, I'm getting dropped yeah. and I'm getting attacked by pterodactyl. Yeah. Yo, this monkey! This monkey! Pain in the ass. 
over here, this red circle. Music switches real quick. The analog looks a little buggy. Look at that thunder. Oh my God. As a kid, this was so immersive. This shit right here seemed like a drunk alcoholic grandfather. Look at this T-Rex. Bruh. Oh my drunk alcoholic. They have always looked like this shit, bruh. This is how they all acted at Philly parties too. <laughs> oh man. We got this monkey meditating and shit, but you make him headbang these, these rocks for like three times. That monkey's supposed to fly off. Yeah. Hit me, hit me, hit me. He just... I was scared as hell for this. Even the lava really looking good. Gotcha. He falls off and just sits there and waddles. Yes. Please don't tell me... Hey, he has the animation. So what? Anybody watched House of Dragons? Or House of whatever it was? House of the Targaryens? <laughs> How is it? I know there's three episodes out at the time of this recording. You did great. Professor's in the background. Look at this anime waifu. She looks like she's doing all the work. Or she's pretending to do all the work. That's how my old co-worker that used to work in the IT department used to work every time. Every time, like, somebody else walks into the office. Then as soon as they, they leave, she's just on her phone. Talking about her day or some shit. Oh. <laughs> she looks like she's doing the most work, but she wasn't, bro. I was doing most of that shit. The thick jungle. In the mysterious age now, we're going for the dinosaurs in this round. Look what I've got! A new gadget! Check it out! Got a radar. Here's a monkey radar. It'll it's help like you a track. You can find the monkey scattered across the area. Let's go! As a kid, this was pretty tough for me. I don't know why this game was so difficult. This is one of the first games I ever got, but bro, you step on the wrong pad here if you don't use the, the radar. Like, if it shows there's nothing in here, look, bomb. This you die. This is a trading area too. I remember this used to be like hell for me trying to figure out what the concept was over here. So there's nothing in this one. Nothing in this one. There's definitely something in this one. I need a little stub. It's a stubby. Hey, gotta second guess this shit half the time. We didn't eat on HBO Max. That's like their go-to show, Game of Thrones. And uh, right now it's House of the Dragon. Who are you looking for? Spike, you are now on your way to the mysterious time of the jungle ruins. You must navigate through thick jungles filled with beasts never seen before. Go on to explore the temple ruins, but be very careful. The temple is laden with treacherous pathways and dark dungeons. Oh yes, and you may have already noticed one thing. The apes have varying fields of vision. So in most cases, you can sneak up on them by crawling around rather than running after them. You won't be noticed as quickly as you remain low to the ground. You'll discover many great things on your journey, but try to stay focused. You must locate all of the apes. Every second that passes gives Spectre a chance to succeed. We're counting on you. Press start. Why the colors keep looking like a person's peach castle? Exactly. Look at this dude. Hello, this is music. Professor. Remember me? It's me, Spectre, the future leader of the new age. That's right. Apes will soon rule the world just as it should have been from the beginning. Straight black Air Force energy. Spectre, what ha who what's going on here? What are you planning to do? Spectre, oh yes. You're the monkey that performs at the amusement park. What? He's that cute little monkey that everyone loves to come and see? But how? Yes, that's right. I stumbled onto this incredible invention of yours, this peak point helmet, and it's given me remarkable knowledge and great powers. And now I plan to rule the world. He basically and I owe made it to you, the helmet super saiyan. Spectre, you must listen to me carefully. It's true that the Peak Point Helmet will augment your intelligence to heighten levels when it's worn. However, it is still incomplete. It's never been tested and may be very dangerous to use. I advise, no, I insist that you bring the Peak Point Helmet back to me immediately. Bring it back? <laughs> Are you kidding? I'm sorry, Professor, but it's too late. I've already made duplicate helmets for my new army of apes. 
There's no stopping us now. The future is mine. <laughs> Bro, he even Don't got, like, try a and trick me into giving this helmet thing. back, Professor. I'm smarter than you. I even figured out how to use the time station. I've already sent my armies back in time to rewrite history. <laughs> no longer will humans be the dominant species. I will rule this world. Don't bother trying to stop me. <laughs> huh. Spike will find you. Just wait, you'll see. We're not gonna stand around and let the you take music. over. Spike? That little runt? He doesn't scare me. I've got a surprise for him. Jake! Uh, Margin Vegeta Jake. <laughs> I've always wanted to go up against you. Now here's my chance. I'm gonna have a great time destroying you and showing you who's the real hero. What's happening? Uh. What's wrong with you? Do you realize what you're saying? Do you know who you're talking to? They should have the Snap Dragon Ball out of this. it. Pull Bobby yourself Mike together. Control, you boy. Can you hear me? It's no use. Somehow he's been brainwashed and he's being controlled by Spectre. God, I love Japan. That's right, Professor. You're very perceptive. The boy you see here isn't the same anymore. He works for me now. So I'm in control. Good. And no one, no one can stop me. Especially not you. Well, I've got to go now. But I'm sure we'll be talking again soon. You know, as a kid, these cutscenes were so few and far between because it felt like it took a lot longer to get through some of these sections. But now as an adult, you just blaze through them in like 10 minutes. It does straight up look like straight out of a Super Mario 64, these color schemes. I, 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 you feel the influence of that game all over here. 1v1v1v1v1v1v1v1v1v1v1v1v1v1v1v1v1v1v1v1v1v1v1v1v1v1v1v1v1v1v1v1v1v1v1v1v1v1v1v1v1v1v1v1v1v1v1v1v1v1v
Bro, I was terrified to touch the water. I was like this. Same exact face. Straight face. <laughs> oh, damn. Campbell and Tizer. This game showed a little bit of its age, but it's holding up somewhat well for nearly 20 plus years. Oh my god, I'm man. This is the equivalent of me when I was playing games as a kid to these the old heads playing hard. God damn, these four die kids would never. Oh shit, don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me. I don't think they hit me in this angle. He's designed for that angle, they're scary into the this thing. Can I touch his butt? Can I touch his butt? Can I touch his butt? I can touch his butt! Yeah, I would have never had the balls. As a kid, I didn't have balls developed yet. Keep going. I don't want to be a Twitch affiliate. Because Shadow because he might take 50%. Yeah. If you, uh, make sure you choose wisely. Streaming market is getting kind of competitive. They've been changing up the rules lately about a lot of shit. I can't say too much because you might get smited. Even though that chick who got banged from behind is unbanned within seven days. My boy Gideon still can't get unbanned. It's wild out here. I don't even know if I'm gonna switch this good side. Yeah. Come on, most companies bad side. This guy, look at this schmuck. We gotta get him. I got banned from Overwatch for a month. Yeah. 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 This is a little Black Air Force energy. They can't handle Black Air Force energy on YouTube. It's 2022. That's why I gotta be worried about everything I say now. One slip up and you end up like Andrew Tate banned from the internet. Banned from every platform if you don't conform to Susan's thinking. We have freedom of speech, but you don't really have it. Because we'll cut off your source of revenue slash food. I hear the monkeys kick in the background. It's it up here. It's a mini boss in this area too. I can't wait for that. Ah, I gotta wait that. Yes! Oh, you're making me feel older when you're about to be on Sunday. Hey, yo, if you stream on Sunday, make sure you come through. I wish you a happy birthday. But, I don't know, man. I've been going through these old man phases. Even when I started this channel, like, even with Jack and Dax in 2012, the whole time I felt like I was an old man reminiscing on the good old days. But if you think about it, 2012 Jack and Dexter remastered, I thought it was a long time. It was 10 years after the first one. Now we're talking 20 years after the first one. And uh, I felt old back then. Now... Ay, ay, ay. It's like an open wound. It's scary, bro. I got er oh, friends having kids and shit, starting whole families, and I'm out here like, bro. I'm just trying to get my life together. The fuck y'all having whole ass families and shit? More power to you during these times, but damn, yo. That's surreal. If I was looking at my parents, my parents already had me. If, if they're the same, so I was like, fuck. Ay, ay, ay. I want kids and stuff, but not now. I can't I can't handle that responsibility right now. I got Broly and stuff to deal with. This fucking Goomba! Look at they gave some Kirby looking references to some of this. Look, look at Kirby the crystal shards. This one's jumping around again in the background. Much as you want kids anyway. Oh man. It, kids aren't for everyone. I don't know why. I feel like nowadays I'm like one of the outliers with that. Like I still want to have kids, but not during this time, especially with the worries about sending them to school and shit. And like one of these colored hair professors teaching them the wrong shit. Oh man. I'm gonna wait a few more years. I used to be in a rush for that shit. Low key, because I was like, I wanna make sure my kid has. I don't know, I'm a family man when it comes to shit like that. But I feel you, I feel you. It's a lot to take on. Even Sean be telling me like he doesn't even want to be a parent of it. And I'm like, damn, as the older brother, is that why? Is that why it's in my head? It's like ingrained into my head. You gotta go pass on the jeans, boy. Watch oh, this one's running. He's not running me. I sneak up on and watch this shit. Watch this. The music changes with it. You want kids around 35? Not gonna lie. Yo, when I was, did you just run from this direction? I'm thinking that's probably the prime age now. I'm thinking 30s or the new 20s. Let's see if I can slash him. You looking at me? Get your bitch ass in the net. He's one of the fast ones. On the um, the pants that they're wearing, it shows how fast they are. He's wearing one of the fast ones. Damn, if you move diagonally. Dude, acting kind of wonky. You want me to stream more yo-yo? That would actually be a pretty good stream. 
after one of the yeah. Fortnite stuff crashes. Yeah. I was actually, I'm low key kind of craving playing that game again. I think I need some Nami grass. I just have a good smoke session and I can play that game like all willy nilly. But I appreciate like the fact that I can stream these games like this and still have you people like, still show up. Back in the day, it never used to be like that. If you don't play the right game, zero viewers. Now I actually got people to chat with and like talk about life with, you know? I'd rather that than anything. Being able to play any game you want and having cool people like y'all to talk to about life. That's the dream. This one's supposed to send me by accident. See, I can perfectly fit through these bars, but you don't play such a he accidentally launches me into the abyss. And you follow this third chamber. Bro, these hip hop remix beats. I don't know what it is. Techno hip hop. Hip hop. Bro, this thing's alive. Clap the shit out of that. He has a gun. Put him down. Get on the ground. Yo. By far my favorite Let's Play on YouTube. I was thinking about this earlier today. I was like, damn, you know what's my favorite Let's Play? It's not from mine. It's not even my video, bro. My favorite Let's Play is the light. Blue monkeys got to sneak at them. Yeah, man. Birthday shit. Hell yeah. If we're going to be on Sunday, definitely. Um, I think the best Let's Play, the most underrated Let's Play on YouTube is Alex's... Can I slap this thing? Nah, I'm not gonna reach that. Damn, I gotta leave this one here. Alex's South Park Stick of Truth Let's Play. This one's a death trap. That is probably the most funniest Let's Play I've ever seen in my life, and it's back. It's buried in 2013. But, bruh, Alex is literally a South Park character. That was literally one of the best Let's Plays you've ever seen back then, especially when it's a little bit more uncensored. I think Alex, even though he's a great, fantastic top of the game, Dragon Ball creator, his Let's Plays were something else, man. His Let's Plays funny shit. He's still underrated for that part. He never got the props he deserved for the, the Let's Plays. Oh, shit. Flatten oh. myself like a pancake. But this is South Park Stick of Truth Let's Play. If you guys ever go back to his channel and watch that, let me know. That shit was the funniest thing you've ever seen. It was like he's, he literally built for that universe. Right, so this one's got an explosive monkey. I have most of this stuff memorized. The amount of times I played this in the PS1 emulators and PSP. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Oh shit. Let's play like hide and seek. See, these guys are super sensitive. <laughs> you curl up to a ball. That's how I sleep at night. Damn it. He's looking. He's looking, you can't. Don't touch the button, dickhead. Don't touch the button. He's barely moving. But get off the button! Get off the button! He dancing on that shit! Oh, I'm gonna kill you. They're super sensitive. Turn down, dickhead. Yeah. Like these enemies sided with them too. Got this wall. Mr. Paul, the HD collection um, um, platinum trophy collector. And he's over here. He, he makes a bang, a banger of the first five episodes, but he never finishes the games. You did great. <laughs> that was always the running gag. But he did beat the game, and he, even, he was that much of a Last of Us fan that he even showed me Last of Us 2's craziness before it actually happened. He was the first person to say, yo, look what they did to the Last of Us. What happened, Alex? Black sex on a boat. This man waited for me to like spaz out on a reaction. He's like, look at this shit! And then all of a sudden you see my reviewer, he's like, what? No! No! 
what they do to my game, what they do to my franchise. Hi. Right. Look what I've got, there. a new gadget. Check it out. Here is the slingback shooter. Just pull back and shoot. I'm sending the new gadget over. Say less. I'm going for it. Animal dimension. Mason is crazy. But that's why he's got the level of success that he has. The man's a crazy man. In a good way. The animal. He gives zero fucks. Like, even back in the day, I used to be, like, afraid of recording vlogs and shit in person. And even recording, like, when we used to go to Six Flags. Like, I don't know. It's just, like, that social yeah. pressure. But him, he gave zero fucks. He whip out the camera talking about anything, anywhere. That shit was inspiring because it's, like, that mentality. That bulletproof mentality that he has. That's why he's he's killing the game. So here we got a slingshot. I love how Natalie introduces this stuff that the professor just handed off. He's like, yeah, I kind of invented this a long time ago. Didn't send this to you till now. Hands up. Get on the ground! You got blind people with slingshots. This shit's actually pretty deadly. Five monkeys. I did not save the game. I need to save it. This music is trippy. Whoa. I can only imagine if you're high, if this feels like it's pulling you into a TV or something. Look at this, this looks like some Mario 64 platforming. That's what the tokens used to look to me like. Like on the, the screen inside of the, the hub world, that's what the tokens look like. So this should lift that gate. I never knew how to move these things either, even though it's just a palm on it. I was like, what the hell? Stop, go, walk, what? I could break through that with a special device. Oh shit. I haven't even equipped this stuff. So the slingshot's actually a gadget we needed. Look at this. This looks like one of those ghetto chicks. The newest song going around New York right now is Munchin'. It's the dumbest shit ever. You see all these hot girls singing this shit. And it's like, bruh, shut the fuck up. I don't want to hear about that fucking song. This was looking at the stars at night. We get him. Go back up. Go back up. Go back up. Oh, there's something below me. I thought I took yeah. nothing. Yeah. I used to walk across just like a boss. I just stare at me. That's how the haters will be looking at me. Why does the soundtrack smack? Yeah. Yo, this whole game soundtrack ah. smacks. Yeah. This looks like one of Bobby's henchmen. Ah. Yeah. It's damn near invincible. The walks off. Yeah. They beat its ass. Give me your cookies. Give me your cookies. literally feels like it's pulling you into a different dimension or something. I never used to swing shot. I never used to use the, uh, the swing shot, the slingshot like that. But damn, let me try this shit out with the same assist. Feel it invincible with this. What? As a kid, I used to be a lot more reserved with this shit, but fuck it. You got explosive shots. You got uh, multiple person shots. Look at this shit. I can just even hit this with explosive right now. Stands it for like a bit longer. Hey. I know I hit that. I know I hit that. Sit your ass down, boy. This music is a vibe. Hell yeah. It literally has a... I used to go back to just listening to the OST. I think the only other person on YouTube that I really saw give this shit props for the, the music and all the stuff that is yeah. in this game is, is Katakuris. That's why I got so much respect for Katakuris because he plays most of the same games that I did. And he goes back to all these old ones and he makes that shit popular again. And I'll, I'm like, yo, I thought people forgot about this shit, but nah, he's one of the few people that like, he remembers and he goes back to all of them. Yeah. 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 And he gives a praise yeah. for the right sections, like even the OST, like this is one of the most unique soundtracks I've heard in any game. It took me till playing Final Fantasy VII to hear something this similar. Yeah. 
Okay, we got like some monkey tombs. Look at that, they're rewriting the walls. Oh no. Yes! This game is just one giant sugar rush. This right here, this was the Majin Vegeta versus Goku fight every time. I've been waiting for this for a long time. This is just between you and me. Follow me. The music. And he's talking that shit. The soundtrack. Oh my god, this is rival music right here. Listen to this. I'm going for it. Oh my god. It, it picks up, but like, this is what you and your boy have, like, rivalries low-key. But in a good, healthy, competitive way. Oh my god. This is like two Saiyans. When I was a kid, I was just like, yeah, this is Saiyans fighting. Look at that, he's just jumping across everything. He's better than me. Oh no! Take the hits, take the hits, take the hits. Go, go, go. Keep moving with it, keep moving with it. can do this shit perfect most of the time. He slows down at the end of this. It's like a race. Look at his hair. He was so cool. I was like, yo, can I play as this character? He's as cool as me. Yeah. He's not using any gadgets and he's actually beating ass. Yeah. Remember, everybody used to have troubles with this uh, specific mission because of this area right here. Oh my god. Oh my god. You hear like the sound of the wrecking balls. Yeah. Sounds like death. But I'll beat him. Everybody loses races as yes. a kid. Did it, did it. I'm convinced. What a fire! He says, "Hey, Biscape." I'm convinced about Arrow listens to so he can beat me those races 100. percent My queens. I'll go up against you anytime you want. Bro, that background music. I could put that as my 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 intermission music. That's just that good. Hopefully, you him and Sean play more games together soon you guys every time you guys together that's why you started watching play with the subscribers like you guys bro we the mentality we've always had is that bro we never wanted to penalize ourselves i know other people do that shit and that's what I, I keep saying this shit i've seen other youtubers like they think that they're up here and the fans are down here nah bro it's always been you guys and me are all in the same playing field that's how alex's mentality still been and that's how all of us have always interacted with y'all it's literally we're all in this together type mentality and i love that i always love playing with y'all for that reason it's never changed Platformers from the PS1 N64 set are such a big ass. Bro, I was thinking the same shit. I'm like, bro, these guys had to be on psychedelics or shrooms or something. Bro, this shit is, is a trip for real. They was tripping on shit hardcore and they were doing it on the low. There's no way you can't tell me. What was they doing in that studio? I know they're passing around shrooms or something, bro. It gives me shroom vibes. Look what I've got. A new gadget. Back back Check it out. This is the super hoop. It protects you and makes you run faster. I'm sending the you a gadget over to you right now. Try it right. out because the everybody's tree. a friend. That's Without how I treating, view it. It will be too dangerous for you to continue on to the next area. Well, good luck and be careful. So this thing right here gives you instant transmission level of speed, right? But Let's go. It looks a little girly. How like, could they make this thing look cooler? Could they not give me this as boots? But the Japanese man had fun with this. Uh. I was like, can you run around this, like, run around like this, like Naruto run with this speed without the hula hoop, but I want to be cool. You're killing my, it's like, mom, you're killing my cool. Jake is going to be running faster than me during the next race. Oh, there's Goofy Goober here. They couldn't make this into some shoes. Make this more badass, but this helps out with all the bag tracking so much. Do the hula. In this next period, You'll find that most of the planet is covered with water. The water net will be very useful in catching the apes. This is a water Girl. section. Damn, I still did not save after the level. I gotta save. I beat Jake's ass and all this shit. I wonder how stable PS1 games do. I don't think they crashed, but... Capture five monkeys. We're in the beach area. The water area. This shit. Listen to this. It matches the theme. 
This is the eighth escape song I know I love, but this is just happy vibes. Like this guy right here, but fuck you, you get out of here. <laughs> Take him out of the hammer, get your ass out of here. That was a smooth, I just run up all of like this. I heard one of them scream in the background, where is he? I swear I heard one in this direction. I thought that Coral Reef had something. Chilling was a force field, I was always scared to go out past that water, bro. There's this one right there. Look at these guys just chilling. These are the chillest ones. They didn't even give a fuck. I caught them all. They have all three Ape Escape games on PSN. I know they have one and two. I don't know about three. Three needs to come to the PSN. I, I low key want to replay all of them because three has. Oh shit, there's another monkey right there. Where was he? He's running around. This is playing full hoops. Those Lurker Sharks. Yo, that's the reason, bro. Sharks and the Lurker Sharks just accentuated that shit. They knew what they were doing. Gotcha. It's Shark Week in the game. Shark Week in the freaking game. Never looked at water the same. Nah, bro. That same anxiety has been following me throughout all of these games with that shit. That fear that lurking shark when you're a Gerber. Nothing slaps like that. Nothing will ever slap like that. Yo, he used to touch that pad. Touch it, touch it, touch it, touch it, touch it. Like Sonic for real, for real. Get your ass in the vet. Look at me, like Mr. Krabs, staring at me in the background. Pussy boy. Um. Three be the best one. That's the first one you ever played, and that was the shit. With the costumes and the, the ability to change and go to that beast mode. I, I just like the gameplay, though. When the story wasn't all that. I think this was the best story, but that one, the costumes is literally what Sly 4 tried to emulate. Those costumes was fun as four. Only game that didn't happen was uh, uh, G.O.W. But uh, God of War, pretty much. I don't remember doing so much swimming in God of War, though. Besides the river sticks and they kind of suck the life out of them in God of War 3. We're at 16%. Game used to feel like it took hours. Oh shit! Circle button, Japanese game. Circle button, scuffle. Oh my turn. Turn like Pokemon back into the Pokeball. There we go. All right. these games coming back is probably the best thing you can do, especially this Abby and Owen generation, bro. I'd rather take any one of these games from the '90s, remake it. I'll pay full price versus playing The Last of Us Part Two or even Part Three when that shit comes out, because I ain't buying The Last of Us Part Three. The Last of Us Part One remake was maybe worth it if you when the price drops i think 30 dollars is the limit for that game but at last of us 3 i have no faith that that shit last of us 2 no let's go it's crazy how like it's nearly been 10 years since that game came out i can't believe it as you get older you start to realize the time moves faster and faster every every year it's like as much as you wanted to get older, that's what comes with it. It's like, no, 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 slow down, slow down, slow down. Ooh, with the trick shot. Don't jump, don't jump. Bitch. This is what traumatized me. The sharks in this water, bro. It's a hammerhead staring me in the face. Look at this shit. I was afraid and they hit you hard. I got hit, but I ate that shit. Look at this. They might kill me. Got this big ass shark. Great white looking ass. Look at them. They look like demons. Is there a bat down here? Yep. I remember this game. I remember this game. Bro. Yeah. Yeah. Give me these cookies. These are limited HP. Pass. This. Can't fall into the. Why do these things remind me of the carrots? I mean, like, you know, complaints are managed. Like, not anybody named Karen in the chat. No, no, no. But I mean, like, you know, no, I mean, I, know, I guess I got like a handful of uh, fans named Karen and those shots, those shots. I'm talking like, can I speak to your manager ass?
I gotta make sure I'm clear about that. Okay, this one's... I'm about to hit him with the explosive. That annoyed. Holy shit. This music kind of reminds me of like this Final Fantasy VII. You're like in a desert area. Can I reach that? Oh my god, there's no momentum. What is up with this jump? Damn it. Okay, we're lined up properly. Jump. Nice is too much trash, bro, because they're in the community. Make it to something that's not. Not even the community. They try to convince the community that they're wrong. And they, they split the community, to be honest. Half of them believe what Neil Druckmann said, and then they're like, yeah, this is a beautiful character. I love the story between the butt sex and the boat. It was beautiful. And then the other half is like, bro, what did you just slap me with? This is not what this game was in the first one. And even though they started to, to kind of put the foot in the door with the DLC there. Bro, they tricked a lot of us. I made the jump. I made the jump. This is a tough ass jump. It's not even working. Our one's not working. I fuck something. 100 percent in go flying. This is 100 percent both. Rush click two or three. Let's go. You got the nanotechs, especially that that one thing that always stands out to me when he, whenever people mention 100% in Ratchet and Clank 2, especially that game, is that nanotech with the glider that you have to go and spin around for. I think we got it by accident the other day, but bruh, that is, that is some tough shit. Ow. Oh. Can't wait for your birthday when you stream Dragon Ball Z Season 1. Just scratched up. Let's go. Yeah. Hi -ya. Yeah. You might be getting Dragon Ball Z Catcross. Yo, I think Dragon Ball Z Catcross is getting Bardock's DLC soon. So you're in for a treat. If you get it, try to play the... If you have the Trunks DLC, play that shit. That shit is so good. Trunks is DLC in Kakarot. Love it. This mid the torch. The floor, he jumps into the spaceship, I call it him. Ay -ay -ay. Man, this is a kid's... Kid's game. He's going through middle East, middle East torture devices. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh! This guy got a whole World War II tank. Oh. Oh. I'm a fire first. Wait, wait, wait. Draw. Oh. Ah. Yo. Oh, that shit busted open. It's busted open. Let me get these cookies. Perfect spot. Wait, he's alerted, but I think... After you, you hit him with that kind of explosion, they just sit on their ass. Yep. You get his ass beat. They're really scared of like They have named this shit, too. His name is Pickles. Level 4. Traffic without a license. He just sits there and kind of walls and he just got hit with an explosion. Gotcha. Yes! Right, which one is this? is Ape Escape 1. I'm not gonna lie, you have all of DBZ Kai on your PC. 157 gigabytes. Holy shit. Okay, man, this is a late night stream. So if you guys have to go to bed and you got work at school tomorrow, I get it. This is for mad people like me. I can't sleep at night. Let me save. Let's see. Dexter's Island. I love how they have this showing the off side of this. Let me see the front. Look at this. This would probably be censored. Look at that. That looks provocative in 2022. Look at that. I, 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 I. Nightmare fuel polygons. In twenty twenty three, that show would get canceled. Dexter, what do you think you're doing? What do you think you're doing, Dexter? Yeah, I still prefer OG. Let's go. What are you gonna put Final Fantasy? It's being uploaded right now. I'm definitely gonna yeah, yeah, probably upload yeah. it for this next week. I just gotta schedule it. This area is weird. 
It's quiet. It's ominous. It's got a different vibe. It's like almost like a mini boss level. That's the shit open. We got here. Got sleep on the job. All we got to sleep and just creep up on him and I free the turtle. I felt so good. I freed the turtle with my friend. I felt like I freed one of Crocs. With his friends. Look at this thing. It's ominous. You just stared at this giant ass dinosaur. About to get inside you. Whoa! Big sauce. I'm man. Take you. They get on this. And this is where you just go over to one of these boats you see these Instagram chicks taking pictures on. Fatty with the fatty. Bye. Yeah. How long is it gonna take for me to get a boat? How long would it take for any of us to get a boat? I wanna go on a boat, but we can't. I don't have an ass to throw back. Oh wait. Nah, never mind. They probably They probably accepted this payment. Nah, I'm good. I'd rather own the boat. Damn. the stomach of a dinosaur. This is not the anus. He swallowed a ship. This doesn't make no sense. Uh, all the diagonal movement is messing me up. He's gonna flat me! Game is this barber. This is Ape Escape for the PS1. Hold the screen in his head off. You haven't played the horror games like Resident Evil or Silent Hill? I never did. I need to get into them. I think Alex had gotten them, but I didn't get to play them back in the day. But we played uh, Slender. That's where we started back in 2012. Okay. Go off tomorrow. Let's go, Fi. Yeah, Slender used to be the the real horror game that we used to play back in the day. Even though it's not really technically, it just. What would that be considered? Because there's no blood or gore yeah. shit. But that shit was so fun. We have so many of our real life screens. We used to have our neighbors tell us to shut the fuck up. My yeah. mom used to be yelling at us like, bro. Everybody in the house would just be yelling. Yeah. It was like lurker shark level of scary, bro. Uh, I'm one hit away from that. This area is tough. Ew. Ew, this thing attacks. Ew. They set up dinosaurs. So I'm guessing when you hit that. Is the, uh, this like the kind of, Is this free now that the, the gate's lifted? No, it's still locked up. I wonder how you break that. You gotta probably punch it with a certain thing to get it on. Over here. Turn the game volume down. It's overpowering my mic. My fault, yo. Good call out. Shit. Is that? Is that better? Sometimes it does overpower the mic. I hope it's not too much. It was that close to overpowering me? Oh shit. Let's see. Hope that's better. Let's finish this area. Oh. Damn, this could be like the whole first episode. Someone's gonna watch it's like, damn, you need to lower the in game volume. And I'm like, oh shit, I'm sorry. Were you guys able to hear me legibly? I was able to communicate with y'all, so I'm like, damn. Sometimes it'd be happening whenever we jump from PC to you to uh, the PS5. Gotta snipe these guys out. Sit your ass down, white shorts. Way better, bro, but it wasn't overpowering them. All right, good. There we go. I heard something.
I just do a little dance. I see him doing Fortnite emotes. Opening secret rooms inside this dude's stomach. They just created like whole barriers that you gotta capture things and nets and stuff inside of this thing's stomach. It doesn't make sense. It's kinda gross. Oh shit. Looking like Yu-Gi-Oh! fused with some kind of Dragon Ball elements. Wait, what? What is this? According to the scanner, there's a complicated maze in his body. Why is there a maze inside this thing's body? He swallowed a freaking maze. Yo, we're gonna fall out. Ew, this is like his stomach is acid. We're gonna fall. This is like Majibu's stomach, to be honest, but it's like, bro, we're gonna fall out of his ass. Wait, this is back to the beginning. Oh my god. That makes sense. This is back to the beginning. Can I get hit by this? PS1 animations. Oh, that's the vibe for the game. Just want to dance around. Alrighty, Bengals. Thank you for coming through, fam. We'll catch you tomorrow, right? I forget to let Shock know. You miss him in the, the King of Hearts. Got you, fam. Got you. Much love to you, fam. I heard a monkey. Is that the music in the background? Where I heard a monkey. I see what they're oh, they're back here. They're shooting. The camera's got me in a messed up angle. Put your ass in the neck. God damn. Yes. We're going to end this episode part off right here, guys. So don't go anywhere. Make sure when y'all see this on YouTube, please smash that like button, subscribe, hit that bell icon. Don't go anywhere, stream. I'm going to be right back, but I'm just going to cut this part right here for YouTube. See you guys in a second. All right. Young money, baby.